All right, good morning, everybody. Six Figure Stylist Day 3 is about to go down. So excited. Hitting this day is always bittersweet because it's so exciting to be talking what we're talking about, but it's also really sad because we're going to be saying goodbye to a lot of people today. So I'm excited to be working on branding and marketing at the beginning of the morning here. As always, starting with our social hour. So make sure you guys follow along and see what day 3 is all about. All right, everybody, we are here. We've got this beautiful babe. I want you to tell everybody who you are, where you're from. I am Jillian Ballman. I am from technically Brookfield, Wisconsin. Yeah, so she's a local to us, which is super great. And one of the really cool things about her is that she's actually a student in cosmetology school. So it's been really exciting to have a student here to be able to see what we can do and how we can influence them so early on in their career. I mean, I definitely wish I had something like that. Oh, yeah. So I want to hear a little bit about your experience and some of your favorite things being a student and coming to Six Figure Stylist? So overall, I did not, like I knew what to expect, but I didn't. And I kind of had this open mind. I'm like, okay, whatever happens, happens. First day, wow. Super <laughs> emotional because I knew what I needed to work on, but I never took the time to like write down all my plans, write down all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, if I handle this and this, this is going to be a rip, literally your words, ripple effect. <laughs> so with that being said, first day, awesome. Super powerful. I felt so confident within myself, which I feel like like everyone struggles with and that was the one thing that I like took away 100%. Day two, oh yeah, I didn't have any idea what I was doing. <laughs> Numbers scare me. I'm 21. I like to spend money. I have like <laughs> shopping problems and I use my mom's card. Let's start there. <laughs> so going into it, I had kind of my numbers for when I'm starting off on the floor after assisting. I was like, okay, this is doable. And then I like did it a little bit higher. I'm like, okay, this is doable. I'm gonna have to work 10 times harder. And it made me realize like, okay, are you gonna be right here or do you wanna be right here? And if you're right here, next year you're gonna be up here. Super like understanding taxes, all that stuff. I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm, I told you yesterday, I said, I feel like I could be a tax accountant. Like I know this. So <laughs> honestly, like the best experience, I can't even describe. I was trying to take a video this morning on my Instagram. I'm like, uh, like I don't even know how to put into words because like just a bunch of emotions I'm so confident within myself and overall like hands down IBW needs to start signing us up for this like <laughs> totally worth it included totally. in your tuition yes. IBW Milwaukee 100%. well it's been an absolute blessing to have you here yes. I can totally tell like this girl is going places so we're so excited to be at the very beginning of that oh, and yeah, we cannot baby. I know you already signed up for the wait list for next oh, year I did I did yesterday I was like <laughs> well I'm already signing it up but honestly like such a great experience and I can't think enough to you you like spoke to me in so many ways like you had some of the similar struggles which from an outside pointer like a view you would never know that and like you did this girl Aww, you did this you I did love this you. i Thanks love you so too. much <laughs> all right we'll see you inside day three baby let's go let's go the one thing that i was trying to do when i was creating my education was really make sure that it it had the feeling behind it as well. Actually, red is not one of my favorite colors. I never thought I would have red in my branding ever. Okay, bless you mom, but she literally used to tell me I look so bad in red <laughs> as a kid. She was like, that's not your color, baby. And I was like, you know what, mom, I'm about to show you. So anyways, so it's super funny because this wouldn't kind of naturally be like the first thing that I would have thought of for my branding. So when I started Six Figure Stylist, my branding was for the, they know, the who's ever, they've been at the first one. It was very like boho-y and it was like beige and tan and like almost like a little pinky. And at the time I was also doing a lot of bridal work. So my bridal, my page was all behind that branding. And why it's important to have that consistency is you want people to recognize you in a split second, right? So if they see a post from you, they want to know this is Holly's post, okay? Because it has so such a refined taste to it that it's consistent and it always looks the same. I imagine if you guys are scrolling on Instagram, it, you would see my post and in a second be like, that's Michelle's, that's Michelle's Snore, right? But it's taken me years to really curate this. And I think that it was just because there wasn't much knowledge. It also wasn't really a priority a few years ago. Um, and it doesn't have to mean like, you said aesthetically pleasing, right? And that's important to me. That is cohesive in my entire life. We've been really working on that because when we first launched Six Figure Styles, we had no clue what to put because we were like, I don't know, we're just kind of seeing how this goes, you know, the first year. But then once we were able to actually put it in action and get 
you know, the testimonials and get the experience and have the people speaking for us, that was really able to start building our brand for Six Figure Stylists. to stylists, right? Or maybe you want to be educational to your clients. Um, another thing that I always want to have is I want to be motivational. I want people to feel motivated and excited and encouraged by me. And then usually it's like whatever like type of promotion I'm doing at the time. So whether I want new extension clients or whether I'm launching a class or things like that, I'm going to do something that aligns with that. And then we're always going to include ourselves in our branding, right? Like if I don't know what your face looks like, I'm now a little bit more intimidated to come and visit you because I don't even know who you are, I don't know what you look like. A lot of times clients are attracted to us as people, um, so it's very important for us. That's why in your branding that you guys just created, it's like, okay, let's not catfish our people, right? We have this like beautiful branding photo and then we come in and then we, you know, look like not how our branding looks, right? So we wanna make sure that the clients feel connected from before they book to then when they come into your chair and then they're after, okay? All right, we ready? All righty guys, vlog update, day three. We've got everybody working on their marketing and branding. We've got so much variety. It's all so beautiful. Um, we're also working on content and creating that so that it can be a little bit less stressful um, when they go back home. So they really have an action plan. I think it's nice sometimes to like be in a workshop and actually be working on something that would take time out of your life outside of it. And so that's kind of what we're doing today. We're kind of doing some like action planning. So it's been really fun to see what their ideas are and everybody's killing it. Um, because I'm already price quoting, I'm already going to be talking about price, okay? So it immediately opens up that conversation without, if I don't usually price quote, and I don't talk about that in the consultation, they're now kind of like, wait, now we're talking about price. It almost like alarms them a little bit. But if I'm always talking about price in the consultation, I just let them know really simply. So for today, your service is gonna be this price. I wanted to notify you of my price increase that's gonna be happening August 1st. And so in August 1st, your next appointment, you can expect this to be the cost of your service. If they give you a weird look, then I follow up with, yeah, and if that doesn't work for you, I love seeing you, I totally understand. I do have another stylist that would be an amazing fit for you. So even being in a suite, always having a network of people that that you know you can refer to that might be a little bit more in their budget or maybe a little bit more in their style maybe, right? Like if somebody comes in and it's not necessarily your best thing, like if someone came in and wanted a rainbow like split dye and all, I would be like, oh no, like I, I am not gonna be the best fit for you. I do not know how to do that. So I would refer them to somebody else. So baby. Ooh, baby. Okay, we got our lavender lemonade popsicle from Chilwaukee. It's a local popsicle like little bike, I would say, little bike. Um, so super excited, we're having some salads. It's just been a really nice morning. Like, I feel like today is like a little more chill, um, but still, you know, really super informational. People are like, this helped me so much. And so that's great, because this is a totally new thing to Six Figure Stylist this year. So we're just all enjoying our pop schools, living our best life. Um, there's some really, really emotional things happening at the end of the day, and so I'm excited to get there. So now we are, Moving into one of my favorite parts of the whole weekend. Um, so last night we had you guys all write a letter to yourselves, which I'm not making you read the whole thing, don't panic, um, deep breath, <laughs> but you're gonna have to read something. Um, so these letters are really special because, like I said yesterday, I hope when you look back at these, whether it be you know six months, a year, two years, five years from now, you can really just be proud of all of the goals that you set for yourself and all of your hopes that you set for yourself um, going forward. And so the coaches and I are gonna be a great example and we are gonna start. Um, and I want you guys to read a piece from your letter. It can be a paragraph, it can be two sentences, just something in your letter that really speaks to you that you kinda wanna put out into the universe and and really hold tight to it, okay? Oh, so much for taking that moment to be open and honest and scared as hell and share that with each other. My hope is that every hope and goal and dream that you guys wrote down in those letters that it comes true for you. Because being here, you guys made this dream come dream come true for me. So thank you guys so much for your dedication. I love you all so much. And I'm so freaking honored to give you your certification, okay? <laughs>
All right, everybody. First of all, congratulations for graduating from Six Figure Styles 2024. Welcome back to Six Figure Stylist, day three. The sun came out for us. We feel really lucky. It was like, you know, it was like, ah, here we go. No more clouds, no more rain, no more tornadoes. But I want to pop in between these two babes. Oh, oh. oh check that <laughs> move out. Okay, guys. So how was your experience at Six Figure Stylist? Amazing. Very knowledgeable. I'm so glad I was had the opportunity to come. Aw, I'm so glad to have the opportunity to have you guys here. So, um, you guys came as a bestie? Yes. yes. Okay, how do you guys know each other? We work together. together. You work she together? She's my assistant. Oh my god, awesome. Super cool. So how long have you been in the industry for? Um, so I graduated in March. Graduated in March. Wow, <laughs> so how exciting to have another new graduate with us. That's so exciting. Okay guys, so what was your favorite part of the last three days? Well, obviously spending it with you. <laughs> but um, learning more about my business. And, and making goals. I love that. Well, I think also just being aware of what you need to be aware of when you have your own business. Yes. Especially when you rent. Yeah. I love that. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't wait to have you back for another class in the future. Yes. Woo woo. <laughs> all right. So we got somebody that came all the way from Canada. Hi. We're just super excited. So she's not even in the United States. Hi. How, how did you hear about Six Figure Stylist? Through Instagram. Awesome. I followed you and then from there followed all the multiple pages that you have on your page yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you were like all right this seems like a uh, cool enough to come yeah uh, well I've really never been to the states so I kind of wanted to come oh cool. and this gave me a good reason to come and get education some tax write-offs as well <laughs> which is always nice yes and then was there any favorite part that really stood out to you this weekend uh, that I really need to work on my personal life. Uh -huh. It definitely has taken the side burner because I do so much for my business that it's nice that I finally get to like realize that my personal life needs to be in the front as well, not just yes. tossed aside. Absolutely. I love that. Well, thank you so much for traveling all this way to hang out with us. It's been a pleasure having you. Thanks for having me. Oh, my God. Of course. <laughs> I interviewed you two last year together. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. But it was inside. Yes, inseparable. We've got two alumni here. Last year was their first year at Six Figure Stylist, and at the time, they were baby stylists, but they no longer are baby stylists. They are big girl stylists now. And so I wanted to hear from you guys. So... What was different this year for you than it was last year for you? Oh, uh, you want to go first, Mac? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, I think the biggest thing this year, I had to really convince myself that I wasn't a baby stylist. Mm -hmm. So I think I took a lot more of like what we learned to heart mm -hmm. um, because I wasn't so, I wasn't so afraid of embracing my capabilities yeah. this year yeah and I think last year I was just like nervous Nancy brand new yeah and didn't think that I was like deserving of the education yes but this year I was like no I deserve this I worked hard to be able to learn this stuff absolutely I love that that's so amazing what about for you um I definitely like last year I was pretty like insecure about coming where this year I was a lot more excited to like meet people and like really dive deep into all of it I agree with Mac I feel like last year I was super lost on a lot of the money day because I hadn't really gotten to do a whole lot of money things mm -hmm. or like maximizing schedule or stuff like that where this past year Jessica let me do a lot more of it so yes. I feel like this year it was like this 
refresher and like a, okay cool this is something that actually is like a daily hairstylist thing so yeah it's like it was nice for that shift where the Monday day last year I was like wow this is horrible and then this year I was like okay this is actually like it makes more sense and um, yeah, and all the new girls this year were so fun, and meeting new people was always the best part. So, yeah, and, and that's what we want, baby. Yeah. Growth, they baby. They grew together. Yeah, they, they grow together. Oh. Here, okay. okay, we're back on the vlog, everybody. Okay, we've got a, a local over here to my left, and then we have a Floridian Sunshine State. Sunshine State baby over here. So I know just from speaking to you guys privately, you've both kind of said how impactful this weekend has been for you and really kindly like how grateful you guys were to be here. And so that means a lot to me. And I just wanted to get some feedback from you guys. If there was one thing that you guys took away from this weekend that you will hold with you for the rest of your oh. lives, <laughs> What would it be? <laughs> dun dun dun. First, not only the connections made with everybody, I will remember those for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. but setting boundaries, personally and business-wise, that the personal ones help your business and the business ones help your personal life. Absolutely. I struggle with that, and I feel like I'm really inspired after this weekend. Yay! That makes me so happy. And what about for you? I think it'll be self-worth. Yes. Even when you doubt yourself and you think that you're not worth it, you truly are. And you, it's nice to have a support system behind you and like classes like yours to come elevate you and like build your self-confidence up. Thank you guys so much. It was a pleasure having you guys and I appreciate you guys stepping on the vlog with me today. Love you. Alrighty guys, so we're we're live on the vlog right now okay. and I am so excited because to my right here I have our six figure stylist giveaway winner. So every year for six figure stylists, we do a giveaway and we allow the opportunity for one person that had to enter and write a heartfelt letter and fill out a whole entire <laughs> thing to make their way here and we hand picked this lovely lady to our side, which it's pretty awesome. So she got a free ticket here and we're so honored to have her. So I want you to talk to me a little bit about like what was that experience like winning the ticket and then coming here and actually getting to experience it. Okay, first, thank you so much <laughs> for picking me. Um, honestly, applying, I didn't think I was gonna win. I was like, oh, we'll just throw that in there. Yeah. And then I won and I was like, oh my God, I, I won. And then everyone was like hyping it up at home. And then it was like, oh, you want to stay at the Airbnb? And I'm like, no, but I should because I'm so shy. Uh -huh. I can't talk to people. So I forced myself to go to the Airbnb, which was literally life changing. <laughs> so staying with a bunch of women she never met before. <laughs> Having to find them in the airport. I'm like looking at pictures that we sent each other <laughs> trying to find it. But it definitely helped preparing me to go to the class itself because mm -hmm. then it was like okay I can I can talk to people yes, I'll be, I'll be, be okay. all right <laughs> and it was just really eye-opening I wasn't expecting to learn as much as I did mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a lot of numbers and stuff but I feel like it helped me more me like for myself <laughs> I love that and it was so fun having you. I feel like, yeah, you were really like a little bit shy or nervous before you came, but man, she walked into those front doors and I was like, this girl's already changed and that probably has something to do with this amazing leader on this side over here, Taylor, six figure stylist, qua, qua, tri three. three, triple alumni. Yep. Now, okay, we're gonna go past this loud thing real quick. Okay, so we have Taylor over here, triple alumni, coming back again, and she received her certification today. Taylor, what's different for you this year than in the past years? Oh gosh, um, I think this year what was different was, I mean, I think everyone like has shit that happens, yeah. and this year has been crazy for me personally, and I really checked out of myself. So this year coming back, even though I thought I knew what I was getting into, I had the wake up calls to be like, hey, yo, like you don't have to live on autopilot. You can start living for yourself. And I think the other thing that was really different this year was I was one of the girls in the Airbnb as well, which was completely out of my comfort zone. And now I'm walking away with five new besties that 
literally, I can't imagine life without now. Aw, I love that. To me, it was it was a little, I was honestly a little nervous. So for those of you on the vlog who don't know, I have an Airbnb in the city of Milwaukee and it is fit for, you know, basically a girl's trip. I mean, that's 99% of our people that book there. And I last year we had a full salon group stay in it. So obviously they knew each other, but this year I'm like, okay, let's open it up. Let's see, you know, who wants to stay there. And they were all complete strangers. So I was a little bit nervous, like, dear God, I hope that like they all really like each other and it's not awkward and something bad doesn't happen but it was so cool even before because I connected them all through Instagram and then even before that they got to know each other and the moment that they arrived it was like crazy instantaneous friendship they went to concerts together had dinners together I'm sure laughed and cried together oh, um, and so it was just so cool for them to build those relationships and then literally came in like this powerhouse of a group that had known each other forever so the relationships I think are some of the really cool things and that we're able to take from these experiences and that's one of the things that we wanted to cultivate because sometimes you know we get stuck with the people that are in our salons or just in our four walls or just in our local area but mm -hmm. there's so many amazing people in the entire world that we're able to meet and so that's one of my favorite things about the experience yeah. too so I'm my great favorite too. <laughs> we talked and you have to buy the neighbor's house because we want a bigger group next year yes. <laughs> okay I'll make sure to talk to the neighbors and be like hey yo can I have your house too <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yeah, no problem. Alrighty, we have Six Figure Stylist alumni for the third year. Third year. This is Kinsey, and we're so excited to have her back. Kinsey, what, what keeps you coming back every year? Um, it just really helps with the burnout. Yeah. Being around like-minded people where you currently work, it's more like not like-minded people. Yeah. So love coming here to be around people that have the same vibes that I feel like I have. Yeah. And, it's just great. Yeah. Refresh. Yes, it's a good refresh. A lot of our alumni treat it kind of as their yearly like retreat where they're able to come and refocus and re regain confidence and rebuild. Woo woo woo! They're happy for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And so it's really amazing to, to have that moment with you and yeah. to have you go back and, and tackle more goals and yes. come back better than ever All another right. year. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Of course. Hello. We have these lovely ladies over here that also stayed in the Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of Airbnb people. Yes. Um, so one of the things that our, our previous girls were kind of talking about was like how uh, that was a little bit nerve wracking because you agreed to stay in a home with people you didn't know, uh -huh. but that you guys had gained such amazing friendships. Mm -hmm. And so that's such a cool thing for, for me to see. I want to hear, um, aside from the relationships that you built here, what was the best part of your weekend? Is it bad if I say going to see Kenny Chesney because it didn't have to do with the class? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> no, Cut. honestly, just getting to spend time with so many people, like obviously within the home because we were like, you know, together all the time. Yeah. But just getting to spend time with like like-minded individuals mm -hmm. and like bounce ideas off of each other and problem solve together because mm -hmm. you don't really get to do that a whole lot yeah. within the salon because you're busy working. Absolutely. So it's hard to do things like that with the girls that you work with. Yeah. Unless you make time outside of work, which is hard yes. because you have loves. Exactly. So like a good time to just kind of step away and have your sole focus be to work on what you're working on while you're yes. here. Yes. Yes. I love that. I agree. I think just like being able to hear everyone's stories and know that like you're not alone because yeah. um I feel like we all kind of go through the same things yes. and like especially the imposter syndrome mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people have that so it's just kind of reassuring to know that like you're not alone in your feelings yes so that was a good takeaway I guess amazing all right united thank you guys so <laughs> yeah. much these gorgeous ladies work together at coach Jess's salon and pull you up is that how you say it pull up pull up but Washington Pull you up, Puyallup. Okay, Puyallup, Washington. I couldn't say it until I moved to Western Washington. Where and everybody you? was like, you're saying it wrong. I'm like, oh, no. So where did you live before that? I'm from Eastern Washington. I'm from a really, really small town in Eastern Washington. Okay. It's called Ritzville. Ritzville. Yeah. Okay, so you had kind of mentioned, like, this is out of your comfort zone completely. Yeah. So what would you say was, like, one of your biggest takeaways this weekend? Um, I would say that... It's like okay to feel uncomfortable, I think. Yeah. It's funny too, because like I didn't really used to be like 
anxious and shy and uncomfortable. I yeah. feel like growing up, maybe it was like big fish, little ponds, like yeah. small town, but yeah. um, just getting back into feeling uncomfortable and it being like okay to be a little vulnerable sometimes. Yeah. It's a good thing to be uncomfortable, right? Yeah. That's growth. I love that. So what was your favorite thing from this weekend? Um, my favorite thing of this weekend was the second day when we went over like the business aspect of things mm -hmm. because I've kind of just been winging it Yeah. and I felt like I got some good advice and insights to Amazing. help me. Amazing. I'm excited to see you guys grow over the next year. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank yeah. you. I'm gonna sneak in here really fast because our battery's about to die. Hi guys, say what's Hi. up on the vlog. What's going on, vlog? We got some crazy energy over here. Okay, we got six for size alum. We got two new people, but now they are alumni, and we're so excited to have you guys. Tell me, Lizzie, what was your favorite part coming to Six Figure Styles this year? Um, definitely meeting new people, but I think everybody's going to say that because <laughs> we're so great. Um, no, I think um, letting everybody be vulnerable in front of each other, um, and also transparency around money. I love that. Uh -huh. Money talk. Okay. And what was your favorite thing, Evan? I think um, getting out of my comfort zone and being more vulnerable in group settings was one of my favorite parts. And alumni, your favorite thing? I need to take get my shit together. <laughs> oh, a good, a good, a good reset. Accountability. Yeah. It, what, are you guys excited to go back home and, and get some things done? Mm -hmm. Big change, big shift. Yes, shift, change, adapt, baby. Thank you guys.